Hi YouTubers, welcome to Dr Figure's channel and this will be my first review in quite a while actually because I've been very busy lately so I am sorry about that um, I've had a lot on with school and that but I should, be get, I should get back to doing reviews quite soon well obviously I'm starting again now and I leave school in about six weeks so I'll have plenty of time to do more reviews then with all the forthcoming figures so today I'm going to be reviewing the Resurrection of the Daleks set, which um, I really do like. It's one of my favourite Dalek sets. I think the Remembrance of the Dalek sets beats this slightly, but this still is a really good set. So we'll start by reviewing the Fifth Doctor first, played by Peter Davison. Now this costume um, also appeared on the figure the Sixth Doctor Regenerated. Um, so it's the same as that except we don't have the mud splatter all down the side and on these trousers so we are, we've got like the pinky orangey um, trousers there, striped trousers uh, and the shoes are slightly grubby, they've got like stains on them which gives a nice effect that they've been worn quite a bit then we've got his lovely cream jacket with all the red highlights on the cuffs and the back and the pockets. Then we've got his cricket jumper. Now this is my favourite cricket jumper he wore because I, I just like the way the lines, uh, the colours on the lines stand out and it's really bold and in your face colours. So I do really like that. So we've got the red and the black deep lines there and then we've got the green in the collar. Uh, I also like that. It makes makes the figure look completely different from the Wave 1 Peter Davison figure. And it includes his celery, which is a nice feature as well. I'm glad they. I hope they'll always include that now with the uh, fifth Doctor figures. The face sculpt is the same as any other fifth Doctor, apart from the regeneration fifth Doctor. The hair is a slightly um, different colour now. It's got a different darker tone to it, uh, but we've still got the nice sculpting in the hair there. Articulation is the basic articulation. We've got the 360 degree turns in the arms at the biceps, up and down at the elbow. The hands do 360 degree turns. Long. You have to hold it when you do that though because it does move the other joints. The head moves side to side, it would do a 360 degree turn but if you do that you're going to get the paint marks and possibly snap the head so I would advise you not to do that. We have the 360 degree turn at the waist. He can sit down and he can also do the split slightly but this is stopped by his jacket slightly. Um, we've got 360 degree at the thighs um, and he can bend up and down at the knees. So articulation is basically articulation from all other human character figures. Well, I know the Doctor's not human, but human-based. So that was the fifth Doctor. Now we'll go on to the general resurrection Dalek. When I say general, I mean just a basic Dalek. So this is, um, it, I think it's slightly a more bluey colour than the um, Dalek from the Remembrance of the Dalek set, or the Renegade Dalek, that's it. Uh, so, it's still grey, but it, like I say, it's just tanned, got a tanned more blue in it. Uh, the, I do like the rings on the eye stalks, they are different. I've got one, two, three, four rings there, and they start large and go small. Um, the eye stalk is the um, new modelled eye stalk, so it is smaller than the originals, which is nice, I prefer them. Um, we've got the dome lights with a black rim around each one. Uh, then we've got the mesh in there, just simple black mesh. And then we've got the plates around the uh, shoulders, as I call them. Dalits don't have shoulders, but it's an easy way to describe them. Then the Dalekanium is black, and we have a black uh, single piece base, I think. Is it single? Yep, single piece base. And also on the 
shoulder area, we've got the black circle in the middle there, and then we've got the black rim going along here all the way around. Now the plunger, um, that's a nice sculpt, it's got the um, indentations there, which is nice, and the exterminator gun and the plunger are just black, so nothing too special with them. And articulation, same with any Dalek, 360 degree turn at the head, eye stalk moves up and down, and the plunger and exterminator gun are ball jointed. So that is the grey resurrection Dalek. Now for the supreme Dalek. Uh, this is my favourite Dalek in the set, excluding Davros, because he's a like half human, half Dalek. So just a normal Dalek, this is my favourite. Uh, the colour scheme is really nice. Um, on the actual episode, when I watched this back, I actually thought this Dalek was green, like a grey green, but it is black. Uh, but of course, back in them days, the cameras weren't amazing like we have now. Um, but yeah, the Dalekanium is a really lovely bright white colour. Uh, that stands out really well on the black body. Uh, the shoulder plates, we have the white mesh in between the black slates. Uh, on the neck, simple black mesh. Uh, the head is black. We've got the same rings again as on the previous Dalek. They're exactly the same. Uh, I think the whole eye stalk's the same actually. Along with the dome lights, which have actually, you can't really see it on this camera, but they have got two or three little black rims going up the dome lights there. Uh, so, yeah, really nice feature, and do, we do have a black circle in the middle there. And again, same articulation follows on the previous Dalek. Now for the reason we all wanted this set, the Davros. Now this is a really, really nice figure, very well detailed. Um, I do prefer the Series 4 version of Davros. Um, I imagine that's because he's the first Davros I saw. I saw this episode well after Series 4 had finished, so I imagine that's why I'm a little bit more attached to the Series 4 version, but this is still a really, really nice figure. Now, on the head, we've got all these grey, uh, brown wrinkles, sorry. The brown's a really nice colour, it's got the correct tone from the episode. Uh, we've got the blue light on his forehead, and the yellow, silver, and red wires. Um, these wires are slightly oversized, they're quite fat, they, sh they should be a lot thinner than that, really. Uh, but I suppose if they were a lot thinner, you wouldn't be able to see them as much, and I suppose it it would look a little odd for a figure. And then we've got the black headpiece, uh, the blue headpiece, sorry, uh, which is attached to all the wires, and we've got his little grey microphone there that he speaks into. Uh, then we've got the back of the chair, that's quite nice. Um, I'm pleased mine wasn't deformed, because I know a few people's had bent... Um, backs of the chairs but mine uh, gladly wasn't. Uh, now his jacket is really nice, we've got a lot of creases in there. It's done really well, looks very lifelike. His hand is also done very well, we've got a lot of nice wrinkles and whatnot in the hand and I really do like the finger pose, I'm glad they did it like that. Uh, some people are saying they prefer the hand just to be flat but I do prefer it like this, it gives it a lot more character. Now, the control board is very nice. We've got a lot of buttons and dials on there. The green, the yellow tabs, um, the orange and silver buttons there. Uh, we've got one or two buttons around the back on the sides. But yeah, very nice overall. Now, this sculpt of the skirt is actually for the... Um, is it... Uh, Destiny Davros, I'm, yeah, I'm sure it's a Destiny Davros. So there have just today I've realised there have been pictures leaked of a Destiny set and another Dalek set, which I don't think we was expecting just yet. Uh, they've been leaked today, so that's really nice. Um, so we know we're getting two more Davros sets. Um, now the skirt is 
the delicadium looks white on here, but it's not, it's silver. Um, but they're a lot smaller compared to the other Daleks. As you can see, look, that's a lot, lot smaller. And the, bit, oh, the base is a single base. And a nice little feature we've got on here. Press this uh, delicadium in and this bit pops out to reveal the circuit board inside. Now that's really nice, it's got like a silvery wash over the whole thing to highlight all the little circuits and chip boards. So that's a really nice feature and I like to display, display him like, like that just to show that that does come off. Now articulation, this is very nice actually. Uh, the head only moves side to side but when articulation's like this, for me, it sort of sums up the collector instinct, if you know what I mean, because it's not fully playable, so it, it just shows that it is meant for collectors because the articulation's hindered, and that means that it's not amazing to play with, and it just shows the sort of collector's edition figure thing. We then go on to the hand and the arm. That moves up and down but that is hindered by the shoulder pad here. We do have bicep 360 degree swivel and the arm bends up and down at the elbow and the hand does a 360 degree turn. And you can pose him really nicely. Just get that back. You can have him posed in lots of ways, have his hand resting on the circuit board there, have him pointing, there's loads and loads of ways you can pose him. So that's really nice and he does have the three wheels at the bottom so he can roll backwards and forwards. You just click the circuit board on like so. So that is the resurrection of the Dalek set. And I'd give this set a 10 out of 10 because there are no faults with this set whatsoever on my set. So uh, really well detailed, well articulated figures. No paint scratches or marks, so quality control for this is very good. So yeah, 10 out of 10 and well deserved. So I don't know what my next review will be, um, and I don't know when it will be, because like I say, I am quite busy just lately, so it should be in a few weeks, I'd imagine, but I can't promise that. So thank you for watching this review. I hope you liked it, and please subscribe and comment. So thank you.